the side there. And I think my paintbrush just picked it up, so. I'm not gonna touch that anymore because that's gonna. All right, and then let's make our little hill. Seems to work. I don't know if that helps or not, but it's not hurting, that's for sure. That's my dog, Thor. And, <laughs> and that's my dog, Abby. She doesn't bark unless he does. Whew. Whoops. I'll flip that over over there. Pour that off. Pour it off that way. And pour it off that way. Oop, I don't think I got it far enough up in my front corner. I need to pour it off. Pour it some more that way. All right. That's it. No more moving it. These would kind of make a good, um, another quartet. I don't know if I'm using that one. I mean, I know a quartet is like a musical band, but, you know, is it a group of four things? Look at the cells. That peak just comes right up. I've got to get a new one of these. That thing, that, my little button is so clogged with paint. So sticky. All right, there's all the air bubbles. Now we're going to bring it up a little bit just to bring the heat down. That's kind of a boring line through there, but not a lot I can do about that. Get some of that phthalo blue. Ooh, look at that. They just, all of a sudden, the heat hits them and they just come popping up. <gasps> Did you see that? That was so cool. Like a billion cells just came flying up through there. Oh, look at that. Okay, that's it. I'm not going to do any more. You should see these little bitty cells through here. They're, they're outlined in one color, and then they have like a shadowing of green that sort of comes in this way, and then white in the center. So you get like a pink outline, and then a hint of green kind of washes over the white. They're pretty. And this lacing, wow, the pink and the white really do the lacing quite awesomely. The blue, I'm still not, I'm a little disappointed I don't have more phthalo blue coming out. But obviously, if I'm going to use that pink and that turquoise, I'm not going to get a lot of phthalo blue, which is interesting. So I am going to... Well, let's um, move these down. Okay, this was the first one. This was the second one. Third one and fourth one. And I'm not sure if you're in view or not, but I'm going to get you down. So, um, so you can see the cells a little closer. Okay, here we go. Sorry, I know it's out of focus. There we go. Look at the lacing. I love that lacing. It's, or veins. I'd almost say those are veins. Either way, they're cool. I'm getting paint all over my phone. Look at that pretty cell. Oh, I'm going to turn it at an angle. And those, like that great big one right there in the center, it's, look at all those. They have just a little, like a little bit of light blue coming through because it mixed with the white. Those are pretty. Okay, next one. Green, this is the last one we did. Look at those beautiful veins. And there's that bright green. Now, y'all have to remember, for some reason, my phone likes to video really super bright. So... The colors are a hint more muted than you see on the screen. Like that cranberry right there is, is a hint pinker and not quite so blaringly bright. So, you know, if y'all are interested in buying any of these paintings, just remember they're not going to be as bright, but they're still... Look at those cells with the... They're kind of wonky shaped, but they're real pretty because they have the little outlines in them. I love it when my cells get outlines. And you can kind of see a hint of color under there. Okay, and then, oh, look at that cell. That looks like a peacock, part of a peacock feather. And this is the last one. 
pretty. Look at all the colors that are swimming around in that. It looks like a geyser pool or something. I don't know. Okay. So, this video is now way too long. I knew it would be. Okay, so we've got four of them there. I'm not sure if I would really frame those all together or not, but they might look cool framed together. I probably will frame those together. So that will be a little while from now. But when I get everything, when I get it all framed together, I'll definitely show you all again because I think it's going to look cool. So I want to thank everybody sub for subscribing to me. Y'all are awesome. And uh, thank everyone again for your lovely, lovely, lovely comments that you leave on my site. And uh, also, if you are coming from, you know, you have your own YouTube channel and you have given me a shout out, um, man, thank you so much for that. That's, that's just such a cool thing to do, to give another fellow YouTuber a shout out. Um, you know, it's just, it's really greatly appreciated. I, you know, I, I get I get totally excited when I when I hear people giving me a shout out. So thank you very much for that. Um, and to uh, to some of my friends in um, in Holland, up in up there in the Netherlands, who have told me you know that they watch me and and are enjoying watching me, uh, that's totally awesome because uh, you know my um, look at that part right there. Ooh, that pink and that turquoise blending together. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I love it when it does that. I'm um, sorry, went off on a tangent again. So, um, my friends in Holland there, uh, you probably know some of my family. My dad is Dutch. So, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm talking to family when y'all comment on my, on my channel. So, um, a special hug goes out to, uh, you know, everyone, everyone out there really, but you know, so everyone go out there, make some awesome art today. Happy pouring as my eight year old Ella likes to say. And I'll see you in the next video. See you later. Bye.